Welcome back, fellow Grand Strategists. My name is Danny Stone, and I'm delighted for you guys to be able to join me today for another episode of Imperator Rome, playing as Tor and Salia. So in the last episode, we managed to conquer the whole island of, uh, which was formerly owned by Gymnasium, I think it is them, Gymnasia or Gymnasium, I can't exactly remember, but we now have one, two, three, four, five, six extra territories, which is fantastic, and a full new province of the Baliorides, or Baliorid, I don't know how it's pronounced, I'm just going to say Baliorides, <laughs> just say it like that. So, what we are doing here, I am going to actually, in this episode, we're going to get a city built in Parma, try and bring all, or as many of the pops as we can actually get over in here, into the capital, um, just to, just increase migration attraction, because with the actual governor policy of centralised pops, migration attraction goes up by plus 0.3, and would help probably try and draw in some more pops from around the place, so uh, in Tucci we are pulling out this Chiseman, who is nearly there actually, when would he have migrated? April 358, so yeah, in less than a year, which is cool. Once we've kind of pulled in a few pops and whatnot, what we'll do is I'll change it and we'll probably move it to maybe some thing like social mobility just to actually increase the ratio of um, citizens in this city that we would have been that we would have built. Um, and we also need to think about where we need to expand next. Um, I'm very tempted because we are now a local power again, which means that we have I'm pretty sure in the diplomacy tab another relationship slot. I'm very tempted to try and make a client stay out of Syracuse. That would be nice to do. Um, is that Carthage that's occupied by Syracuse? Carthage at war? Okay, they're at war against Syracuse. That's interesting. So hopefully they can kick them off the island. And then when that finishes, we could prepare to take these out and make it a client state. Which would be good. And then we could actually integrate it later on and give us like a foothold into the boot of Italy. Which would be good. I could go further down here, but Jesus, they have, like, this defensive packs galore down here. There's way too many of them. And even though they have, like, no tech, I'm still not confident with just the 9-level tech advantage or 10-level tech advantage nearly in most of the stuff um, to be able to take on that massive defensive pack. Once Liguria's um, annexed, we could probably try and expand northwards um, and get some more client states. But, but what we're going to do is, once Liguria has been annexed and integrated, I will just keep... Um, all the land in Alps Maritime, and then we'll release another client state, I think, and um, I'll do the same for Narbonesis. I will keep the whole land in Vaconcia over here, and then release the rest, just so we can have a nice big little chunk on the coast. Hopefully by the time that happens, a lot of this place would have been, like, con well, religiously converted to Hellenic, which is happening at the moment, which is cool, which means that when we take it over, the pop promotion assimilation, everything will go a lot quicker. I doubt the pop assimilation will happen, but if they can at least religiously convert most of the stuff, then the pop assimilation will go a lot quicker. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling on about pop assimilation and what we're going to do. Let's just actually get the game rolling here. We make quite a bit of money. Well, quite a bit. Make 12.97, which ain't bad for a tiny little state like us. Uh, the manpower is slowly creeping back up to the max. We could do with a bit more, I think. Uh, we could build... I'm very tempted to build one of these. Um, definitely go for a uh, training camp here. Or, what do I go for training camp for another temple? We have a few pops that are not of my religion, but... I suppose we could... Nah, I'm just going to go for the training camp. Training camp, training camp. We need a bit more manpower here. The three temples is enough. Um, I could always change the governor policy at some point to religious conversion, but... Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Who wants what here? The pre-Indo-European power of Ilgetia wants to import stone. No problem, guys. Please do. And uh, calling in favours, Koinos Nikolgorid has approached Molan Nesedimid in private, reminding him of past favours done to us by the military faction. Um, so what, the... I owe them... Oh, so I kind of repaid my favour, that seems only fair, and they gained the military leader gains popularity and prominence, which could be cool. Yeah, we'll do that, because that would increase their, um, their influence in the Senate. Why not? God, he's got no charisma, so he's got no, no increase whatsoever. This guy's got quite a good charisma, this guy's got no charisma, and that guy's got no charisma. It's this guy, he's dangerous. He has so much charisma, we just need him to die. Really nice to imprison the guy, but I can't because the populists control the Senate, which means that I can't imprison and they're not, they, won't, they won't allow me to do it. And I can't force laws through because we have quite a bit of tyranny, and I don't want to risk upsetting people. When is this uh, city been built here? Nearly done. It will be finished on the 10th of July, 538, which is great. And then we'll start moving some pops around. And uh, we'll maybe also try and see if we can raid some more stuff. It'll be nice to actually go and fill this place up with some more pops to increase the amount of citizens that we have. 
We are at 156% research efficiency, which is okay, I suppose. We could do with a bit more, actually. Um, could do, but maybe even another acad another academy could be cool, just for that extra research points, since we do have a lot of citizens here. We are quite a way off the actual, how to put it, the optimal ratio of citizens, another 6%, so we are actually promoting some more pops here, which is pretty cool. The religion, the omen is finished, so we definitely got to call down the national tax here. Or do I want the research points? How much more do I make? 12.89. Um, hmm. I'm very tempted to try that. An extra 0 .4, an extra 8.41 research points would make... I'll probably get more efficiency that way. You know what? Let's give it a go. I am at 156% efficiency. What if I did the Blessing of Athena? And let's see what happens. Um, hmm. Oh, I got a 10%. I got an extra... Yeah, I got an extra 10% out of it. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, we'll just leave it like that. Probably go for that for, for tax next, but the omen's not as strong as it could be because our religious unity is not like that high. We're only at 43%. That's because we have all this here. It's Canaanite. So we could do with... Yeah, we could definitely do with building a temple or two in there once the city's been built, which would be nice. Anyway, the game is still rolling on here. We have a training camp that's been built, which means she'll be a bit more manpower for us. So at the end of the month, we should see a little change. We make 119. 84 from us and 34 down to the subjects at the end of the month. Uh, has it gone up? I don't think it has. Or did it already directly apply? I'm not sure. I think it must have already applied as soon as it built. How much manpower do these guys make? Plus 369. Okay, which... Oh, okay, we probably already applied and I missed it. Anyway, the Olympic Games, who do I send? I'm probably going to send the party leader and the Grand Child of the Admiral out. The populace, so let's then die on, let's get rid of him. With a bit of luck, he'll die. <laughs> Probably, hopefully he'll die in the Olympics, so we don't have to see him again. That'll be nice. Um, can't declare war on these guys, because I don't have any Cassus Belly. That's normal. The integration is going along nicely. Just about halfway there for that one, and here's going to take a bit of time. 585 for all that. That's insane. Anyway, the coming of the city of Parma. So we now have a city in Parma. And uh, what's this? A Shadow of Doubt. Worrying rumours are spreading amongst our people that our nation has fallen from grace. Disturbingly, what started as idle chatter has begun to grow in the very stability of Masalu's at stake. So I can pay political influence to either do a banquet, which gets me stability, and also uh, gives me popularity, but I think it's a waste of political influence, or I lose 10 popularity. I'm just going to lose some popularity. I'm not really bothered. I want to keep the political influence so we can actually build uh, more trade routes over there so we can feed the pops and so forth. Anyway, here we now have a city, so I'm definitely going to move the province capital here, which is fine. Now, hopefully, we should start um, bringing some people over. So, where he's coming from? He's coming from Massalia, which is interesting. We have a pop migrating from Massalia. Maybe at the end of the month, something would change. No, nope, just from Massalia there. That's interesting. I have a couple of tribals there, which we don't want. Um, probably... I could do with the others coming. I don't know where is... Where is he migrating to? Has he got any migration there? No one migrating there. The Freeman is migrating to Parma there. It should be finished in 541. And no one else is migrating. I'll just wait till 541 and then we'll change the policy. So the first thing we're going to do though here is definitely go for... I probably definitely want the temples and stuff. So we're going to go for the... Temple, theatre and temple. There we go. We'll do that first, and um, what we'll do is hopefully try and pull some more pops in there to increase the pop capacity. Well, the pop, the pops in there, so we can have more buildings. So every ten pop, we get another building slot. So I'm actually going to move some in here. Uh, seven, so that's uh, eight, nine, and ten. Should be fine. The Olympics finished, so it wasn't the guy we sent that won, but that doesn't matter. Oh well. I now have another building slot, as you can see. So I'll go for another theatre here. And we'll try and change all of the culture and everything of these pops, which would be nice. Instead of actually bringing them in, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change it. I'll change it to religious conversion. It doesn't matter. I probably shouldn't have changed it to um, centralising the pops at first. I should have waited and put it on religious conversion. But that doesn't matter. That's fine. We'll just do it that way. And we've got a couple of temples being built and some theatres, which will accelerate the whole process. So, now that's done, our armies are still replenishing... It's taken a while. It's taken ages. I mean, really taken ages. Um, 
Oh, the cohort cannot be reinforced because I don't have the strategic goods required. Okay. Why won't I? I need to import some. I need definitely need some of that resource. Where is the iron? I have no iron here, and it's up there. But I don't have access to it. So these guys have access to it. Damn. So I probably should just get rid of the heavy infantry, to be honest. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably see if I can import it from Rome. Maybe Rome might want to. Where are they? It's the trading to Calabria. If I improve Rome's opinion of us, they might want to give us some. I mean, they might. So I'm just going to improve opinion a little bit. Do I want to improve opinion? Or do I send a gift? I can't send a gift. We'll wait till I get the political influence to actually build um, to build another um, a trade route. And then we'll see if I can actually get any iron anywhere. Religious advances, which is nice. Now, this is cool because there's one in there that's called Pop. Uh, private, uh, private cult site because there's Pop conversion speed plus 0.5, which is great. Um, it costs a little bit more now since we have more land, but I'm not really bothered about that. And we have a few more pops, so it is fine. We'll go for obstetrics, which is pop growth, which is cool. And fleet hierarchy, which gives us navy morale recovery, which is also cool. So we'll have all that. Veterans move on. So the prime farmland granted to veterans of battle is a simple recognition of the service to Vesalia. Sometimes, however, the lure of battles and glory can prove too much for those unaccustomed to a life of menial labour. So I gain manpower, which is cool, and uh, palm against state and farmlands, which reduces local unrest, and I gain local tax by plus 15%, which is cool. Okay, so the manpower is replenished shortly, but because I can't replenish the heavy infantry, that's why. And we have an election. Thank God it's no longer the populace. We have the civic faction in power now, which is great. Um, finally, at least the populist faction's influence is going down, and... Aha, yes, the leader's changed because I sent the other guy on um, into uh, what's it to the Olympic Games. So the leader's got awful charisma, which is fantastic. And it means that this guy now has the most influence, followed by the civic faction. So we should start weeding the populace now, which is fantastic. Um, titles of the sign, physician. We need a physician. Who do I want as a physician? Probably someone who's scorned, maybe the Amantid. But he's a populist, but... That doesn't matter, we'll get rid of the Scorn family and hopefully the rest of the family members will not be that angry. Oh no, it's the Mesenamid who are pretty pissed now. Where are they? Damn. Oh yeah, they're bigger. They're bigger, they're bigger. I chose the wrong guy. You can go. We'll put a Mesenamid. We'll put Mole on here. He's a populist, but it doesn't matter. There we go. That means your family members will not have a tendency to go towards the horrible ways of the populist faction. Okay, everything's been built here nicely. That is cool. The conversion is... Yeah, that's cool. With all the temples there, the it's actually going up pretty neatly here. It's going to take us November 540. It's going to take us about a year and something, actually, to end up converting a single pot, which is pretty good. And we've got another temple on the way, so we'll reduce it even further. So that's all good. That's all fine. What about the war between Syracuse and Carthage? What's gone on? Carthage is losing at the moment, and they're having a really hard time. I hope Syracuse can send them back from which they came. It would be nice. I would like that to happen. And what is our aggressive expansion change? 0.10. It's not brilliant. Could do with it getting down a bit more. Why is it taking ages? So... Hmm. I think we have a guy that's not very good in the government. Yeah, this guy, he's pretty bad. Apollonid. I'm going to change. I want a better guy. I think... The Pythanis, I don't think the Pythanis gives anything to anybody. I'm pretty sure the Pythanis doesn't. I need to check this, I really do. Um, who is the Antipatros Nikogorid is of the Mercantile faction. He is the guy who increases influence in the Senate. Okay, I don't think that the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this guy, if I put one of the populists... I'm pretty sure if I put this guy down that it will not increase their influence. I'm going to give it a go. Because now it goes down by further 0.11, which is a lot better than it was. Let's just double check here. Yeah, I don't think it did change anything. We'll see at the end of the month, Tick, see if it did, but I highly doubt it did. Anyway, the treasury of Gisco Shelbessid. It seems Gisco Shelbessid has gotten his hands on a lot of wealth, and he has started to invest a great deal of silver into building a reputation for himself lately. 
So either he'll quiet down in time, hopefully, and um, either the Archon lose popularity, and the general loses loyalty. He gains popularity, he gains corruption, and gains money. Or time to share, I gain tyranny, and I gain a bit of money, but nah, I'll just let him... Well, uh, hopefully he'll quiet now. So I think that... Yeah, that didn't change it. So that is great. That's good, that's good, that's good. So we can now I know I can actually put populists in there now. I think the only real faction that gives Senate influence is this one here. The Tomostit or the what's it, the Chief Magistrate. We have uh, two scorn families, the Apollonid. Could do with changing him to be honest. Could do with putting what are you here? You've got a researcher. The Pythanis. Yeah, I don't want to change the Pythanis. What about you? No. No, no, nah, that's fine, the rest can stay scorned. That's not a problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it like that. <laughs> God, these re Republic mechanics are really tricky to get used to. To get the hang of, it is really, really tricky. Um, I think... Oh, look, there's a bug there. I think, look. I see just the colour... Oh, no, it's gone. I just saw a little square of the colour instead of the terrain. That was strange. I swear to God. Oh, well, doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter at all. The expansion expansion is going down now, which is cool. The stability is going to stay stable at 51.30. I need, I desperately need more. Um, I need iron. I really do. Someone's going to have to want to trade with me, surely. Rome doesn't want to, because they would lose capital bonus. They would lose capital bonus, and they would lose capital bonus. I need iron. Anyway, legal chicanery. In an outrageous display of brazen ineptitude, many post Nicagora challenge the ownership of a holding belonging to Leonardo's cool tree this afternoon with only a set of blatantly forged documents to back up his claim. The proceedings did not last long. I can gain stability. Yeah, let's gain a bit of stability here. I don't need the money, so um, we'll take the stab. Uh, civic advantage, which is great. Now we have access to diplomatic stance cost change minus 20%, which is great. Cultural judiciary, which is one culture happiness plus 2%. And cultural administration, pop assimilation speed. That is really important. Now here, it should go up a lot more now. Here we go, 12.60% and we should really start eating through the assimilation process. 540, it takes a year now. It takes a year for one pot. So this is going to go really quickly, which is good, which is really, really good. Since we have no iron, I'm very tempted to just take get rid of the heavy infantry units here for the time being. Um, let's, yeah, let's get rid of them. I can't replenish them, so... Yeah, let's just get rid of them. I'll get rid of them for the moment. They're costing me money. I'll just keep this for the time being. I could recruit light infantry, but it's just no. No, 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 no. We'll um, leave it like that. And if anyone declares war on us, we'll just go with the mercs anyway. The temple collapses. The beautiful temple in the province of Massalia has sadly collapsed in a minor architectural incident. I can either restore the temple, local unrest goes down, or I lose popularity and I lose a temple. I'm going to restore the temple. I don't want to lose a temple down there. Now here I could do with I could do with some more pop capacity. Is there a resource that increases pop capacity? That is interesting. If I have a surplus, would anything increase pop capacity? I don't think it does. Salt might, no it's not salt, it's food capacity. Yeah, there's nothing that really does. Oh, a surplus of silk increases integration speed. Anyone? Ah, oh, shame I can't get any silk. It would be nice to have that, because that would really help for this. It would increase the integration speed, which would be really nice. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. We'll just do without. Where do I want to go to war next? Yeah, they all have really big defensive packs to kind of stop Carthage, so I can't really go down there. Maybe... Yeah, it's outside our diplomatic range. I think the only option we've got is to just to go for Syracuse. We should definitely just go for Syracuse. I think that is going to be the next step towards our expansion. What do we have here? So, yeah, there we go. The conversion is going up to 3.97% per month. So it goes up quite quickly. Have we got all the buildings? We've got another theatre being built there. That's fine. Assimilation is quite slow, but it's because of the religion. As you can see, lot the not-Hellenic religion, it's a negative 33% on the assimilation speed. It is massive. So uh, that is why we need to actually convert them all first. Down here it's going quite fast, which is good as well. So this should be done in no time, really. I'm pretty confident about this being okay. Uh, what about here? Are pop promoting? We are. We have got some pop promotion. But it's quite slow down here. Four, nine, nine years to promote a tribesman to a freeman. 
Anyway, it'll go quicker once we actually convert everything and then we choose change to like social mobility and it'll work a lot better. The Martyr Chine, the Archon gained Diphtheria, so he's old and he's being going all frail. Ugaras Bostara was the governor of Contesania, he died. Um, that is not cool, um, so I need to put somebody else. Maybe a Bostara. Who do I want to put instead? You're a populist, so no. You're also a populist. I'm just going to put... Um, Maybe this guy. Yeah, he gets local fort defence, province commerce. He's loyal. He's not got the best stats, finesse stats in the world, but... Yeah, we'll just leave him. Oh, does it increase the... I don't know if it does. Religious temple, cults... No, it doesn't increase the speed depending on um, the actual governor's finesse for conversion, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's his zeal. Is it his zeal? It would be nice if a tooltip came up and said if it actually did that because of, or because of like a certain governor's zeal increased the conversion speed. It would be nice to know. Oh well, if you guys know, just let me know in the comments if the finesse uh, or the zeal stat or if any of them do or don't actually increase the conversion and assimilation speed. I'll be very interested to find out. Anyway, the game can continue. Let's just check what's going on over here. In the Salia, everything's fine. Our manpower is slowly increasing. We're getting extra 123 per month now, which is a lot better than it was. I could do with an aqueduct somewhere now. Hmm. Sub 17.28% assimilation speed. That is insane. It takes like less than a year now. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. That is really, really good. Tech wise, we are at 220% now. You see, it's, it's going up. Even with an extra province down there, the just tech research efficiency is just insane. And now, especially now, we're going to be promoting more citizens out of this lot over here. I think we should probably go on a raiding session soon. Aggressive expansion is going down. Maybe when it goes down to two, we shall. Oh, is this a war? Oh, no, I thought the game had a kind of a stutter freeze, which means generally you either have a ruler change or someone declaring war on you. Hopefully, it's none of them. These guys are still at war. Still at war, man. However, Syracuse is incredibly weak. I can't fabricate a claim on them now. Why? I could earlier on. They're out of our only coastal provinces in our control range. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure I could at some point. I don't know. I'm not going mad. I thought I could. Can't on these guys. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. But I can on this. That's weird. That is really strange. I mean, coastal range of that, but not of this. Or is it of their capital? I, I don't know. Oh well, that's weird. We'll, we'll see. Once that war's finished, we'll see what I can actually do. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, all the tree advances, fantastic. The tech, we are eating it through. Here you can see the very, the kind of very big advantages of playing tall. Um, we can just eat through tech. I mean, war score costs, smear reputation costs, and monthly loyalty. It's like, it's just insane. You can just eat through tech while you kind of grow two big client states, start integrating them, in, start integrating them, and by the time they're integrated, I mean, we have enough way enough time to actually eat through like a war level 10 11 11 10 it's, it's just madness it, i just like the the benefits of doing it is just so great because if you get attacked you have i have like a massive client state here with 32k and another one with 27k troops who are just going to be ready to defend me you make so much money that you can actually hire mercs and maintain them whenever you want it's just only good stuff uh, culture is still the same. The religion is really starting to go now, which is fantastic. Let's just double check this. Here it's taking a bit of time still, yeah, but it, we're getting there. <laughs> attempted bribery. In a thinly disguised attempt at bribery, Artemidotos Apollonid, the head of the religious faction, made Leonatos Kulchi a particularly generous offer on behalf of his faction. So I gain political influence, uh, which I want. Free political influence is always a good thing to have. Um, I'm going to actually go for enticed business investments here. Yeah, let's uh, local import route will entice business investments. I have the political influence to do it. The more import routes we have, the better. What's the next tech level we're going to get? And the military one is the next one, which isn't bad. And then we've got, what's the next civic level? 
National citizen output, that is going to be good, and so is the slave output, and so is the import value. The next civic level is going to be really good. The oratory level next one is diplomatic range plus 50%, which is going to be very good, which means that if we cannot uh, defabricate a claim on these guys over here in Syracuse because they are out of diplomatic range, maybe the extra 15% would help. Now, the war against Carthage is still going on. It's like the war is raging onwards. It's just it's been going on for ages. When did it start? I don't know when it started. Shame it doesn't show you the date. <laughs> anyway, a magistrate died. Um, oh, okay. And we now have some scorned families. So we do need to move things about a bit here. Uh, the Reese, we're going to leave him there. 2%, 2%, 2.5%. Yeah, I can't really do anything else, to be honest. I kind of spread it out a bit. But this guy, maybe. Maybe these two. The Dadukos can be changed. Where's the Dadukos? The do cost, yeah, this guy we can change. I could probably put an Apollon in here. Hmm, we'll do a Doratus. Nah, maybe just an Apollon in. Let's see which one's the most loyal. This guy's quite loyal. We'll put you. There we go, that gets rid of the Apollon in Scorn, which is fine. The other ones, though, will be Scorned instead. But I'm not bothered about it because it's a smaller family. Uh, Pited, Dorati, and Amnited. The Dorati are pretty peed off. The Pythiad are as well. Who is a 6%? Yeah, no, I'm not bothered. That's fine. We don't have that many Scorn families now, so it is fine like that. We are down on the aggressive expansion front, which means we could probably go and raid. I'm very tempted to go and raid uh, down south here. Very tempted. Maybe we can raid... Maybe we can raid these guys. Yeah, let's give it a go. Let's definitely give it a go. Um, I need one more ship, though. So we'll recruit the units, add to there, and I think it's a trireme. Yeah, we'll do that one more, just so it's an even 15-15. Anyway, we have no... Oh, we have no um, general there. That's why, as well. We can actually put a scorned guy there instead. Not a not a populist. Um, the Leontid. I mean, he's got math military stats, but still, I'm not bothered. It's just to make sure his family aren't scorned. So you guys are going to go down here. Well, let's just try and raid some of this stuff now. See if we can pull in some slaves into the newly conquered province and actually fill up the city. Uh, the conversion is going on okay. 2.8 summit percent. Still not as fat as I would like it to be. If I can pull in some more pops, we can get some more buildings and therefore increase the speed at which we convert. Anyway, someone dies. Simias, Simias Maguni at 21. He was a researcher. The religious sector. And I need the best man for the job. You are brilliant. Ambari Bastara. Bastara, you're having that position, dude. Um, however, that means I can get rid of maybe a Bastara who is the governor. No, I can't. Or I could. If I could get rid of a Bastara that's a governor and replace maybe... Replace maybe the Pythanis or something with a Bastara. Let's, let's see if we have a good Pythanis who's a Bastara but no, he's a populist. So that's not going to work. Maybe the Dorati here. No, that's the one I looked at, wasn't it? Um, the Researcher here. Ooh, no, I don't want to get rid of the Researcher. He's the one I just put in place. I want to leave the Admiral. What about here? The Hierophant, the Dedukos. The Pytid would be nice. We could put a Pytid as a Governor, to be honest. I oh, know we can't because there's only one male and uh, we can't do that. Um, eh, let's just leave that like that for the moment. Um, we'll just we'll just leave it like that. Anyway, let's put this Dorati here as no. Let's put you there. We go. Put you as the um, Agronomist, which gives National Freeman happiness. The Freeman from Lucentum. A large group of Freeman have left the city in Lucentum, Contessia Meridionalis, in Contessani, to come and settle down in our city of Tuki Belarides. Though uh, more manpower could do as good, many women in Contestani are known for their wild antics and could cause issues. So unrest goes up. I gain a tiny bit of Freeman. I gain two Freeman who move to Tuki. Or I lose money, gain too many against stability. I'll have the Freeman. The Freeman's fine by me. I mean, we do gain a little bit of unrest, but... Yeah, I'm not bothered about that. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I don't even think we've got any unrest. Where's Tuki? Down here, I gain two Freeman. Uh, what's going to happen? I think they're going to demote or something, but... Well, that's fine. We just get them over there. That's pretty cool. Anyway, the navy is down here. Can I raid? So I move them to Massalia. 
it would be nice to actually pull them, or like kind of choose where you want to pull them. So why would they move to Massalia? Maybe if I go further down. Let's go down the coast. Yeah, let's go down the coast. I'll go down... Yeah, let's go to the next one, see if we can do anything there. It'd be really nice to pull them into, into Parma. We do have some migration, though. Where are they migrating from? From Massalia, Margo, and Tucci. So we are bringing some pops in. Now, they have arrived. I can't raid there, so let's go down here. Let's keep moving along and see if we can do something. Um, someone died. Who was murdered? Arhan Chelbesid was murdered, but we don't know by who, which is very interesting. Manpower is going up. What do we have now? 123 manpower per month. That's fine. Are you guys arrived? Yes. Um, same to Massalia. I don't want to move them to Massalia. I could probably try and raid... Let's go raid down here near Lucania, see if we can get any more there. I just want to see if it all automatically goes to the capital. It would be nice if it went somewhere else. I can't bring any iron, which is a shame. Could bring in some food, some glass, some stone, some fish, some wood. But what do we have? A surplus of wood. What does that give me? Ship recruit speed. Nah. Do I have an extra... I think I have a surplus of stone, which I do. Salt I don't have. Which we could, which could be nice. Let's get some salt. It gives us pop capacity plus 10%. Hell yeah. Let's have some of that. We'll get it from Emporia. Might as well. There we go. So that increases our pop capacity, which is good. That solves a little issue, which means I can pull five more pops in, which will give me another building slot, and then I can build another aqueduct. So we'll definitely do that. Shared opinions. The leader of the military faction, Koinos Nikogorid, uh, offers us the support of a small portion of his cadre in return for the promise of a favour. We should not underestimate the importance of the support in matters of state. The military faction, like, they, they, owe, they owe me a favour. Oh no, I owe them a favour, but... Oh no, they owe me a favour. No, I owe them a favour, Dan. <laughs> I'll get there. Um, yeah, we stand united. I'll, I'll happily give them a favour. It gives them a bit more influence. See, now the populist faction have just suddenly just gone. And it's the... Um, it is the, what's it, the mercantile faction, the civic faction are in power. It's really the charisma. It plays a hell of a lot. I mean, doing this playthrough... I've kind of finally come to understand fully the different mechanics of republics and charisma of the party leader is so important. It's what actually, I think it's the most determining, the most decisive factor in a party's dominance in the Senate. The people with the most charisma dominate. It makes sense really in a way because I guess that the more talent you have on the Senate floor, the more oratory talent, the talent of a speaker. I mean, of course, the more people you sway to your cause, it all makes a lot of sense. So here I can pull a slave from where? From Lucania. Let's pull a slave. Why not? Boom. Slave. Let's go down here as well, see if we can pull any more. Might as well see if we can pull a few. Need how many more do I need? We need four more slaves. If we can pull four more slaves, it would be nice. Uh, no, I can only pull another slave there. Let's just pull another one. So I need three more slaves. Three slaves is needed. Maybe if I go onto the, let's go over here now. Get, no, next to the next to the capital of Syracuse, Syracuse, or Syracuse, more like. Can I pull something from there? No, I can't slave raid them. What about if I slave raid down here? I could probably slave raid Carthage, but no, nah, I don't want to slave raid Carthage. They would be really angry with me. I don't think that is a wise thing to do, to be honest. Uh, maybe... Where do I want to slave raid? Let's go down here. Let's slave raid over here. Or here, maybe. Yeah, let's go there. We'll slave raid here and see if we can take stuff. Hopefully it won't be Carthage one. It'll be Bastatania, whatever it is. Oh, but my ships are losing uh, health because they are out of naval range. Actually, let's send them back home first. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the episode here, guys. And I'll think off camera where we raid. I'm not too sure just yet. Um, anyway, as per usual, thank you for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And uh, also, if you want to kind of be up to date as soon as a video comes out, also don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. So then you'll never miss a video that does appear when it comes out. As I always say, thank you for being here, thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys next time for another episode of Imperator Rome. Later, people.